Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Chasing Dreams podcast. Today we are discussing overcoming addiction and our special guest, her name is Victoria Blount Smallwood and she is 48 years old and has been married for two years and has 12 children and 16 grandchildren. Y'all know that's a busy Christmas, okay? <laughs> She has been delivered from drugs and alcohol for over 10 years um, after being an addict for 23 years and ended up being shot in the face. So we're here to talk about overcoming addiction. Welcome to the podcast, Victoria. Thank you. And thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And I like to start off each conversation by asking, what's the dream for you? The dream... Oh man, I, you know that's a that's a, a awesome question. But I have so many. But my dream is when I leave here, when I go home to glory, I want to have impacted someone's life. Mm. You know, I want to I want to leave here knowing that somebody with the help was transformed, somebody was delivered, somebody was changed. Somebody had joy. Somebody had peace. Somebody got to know Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the dream of mine. It's all about helping somebody get to that next level, especially in God, because he is the one who has brought me this far from where I came from. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when did you realize the dream and how has it changed over the years? And it has, it has changed a lot. When I realized this is what I wanted to do. It was about, um, it, it started like maybe 2010, 2011. And then okay. it took like, it took four years for Heavenly Hands Outreach Ministries to uh, be birthed. And I thank God for using my pastor to do it because like he really helped me through that transition. They, um, he helped with the funding to, to start getting supplies in. Um, you know, I got a really good support system within my church family. And just going back to my old neighborhood and seeing some of the women that was out there with me still out there, you know, and it, it that really touched my heart. Like, I have to come back out here and I have to get yeah. back. And if God can check, do it for me, I know he can do it for them. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your journey towards overcoming addiction. Oh my goodness. It, it was, you know what? Um, it was a long journey. You know, I, I, I battled with um, many addictions for 23 years, you know, um, prostitution was one of it. Um, the alcohol, um, the crack, uh, the dope, the marijuana, the PCP, I, I pretty much did everything, but um, after I got shot, you know, I can't say I ran right into the church, but after I got shot, it was a wake up call and it slowed down my process of drug use. And um, then, you know, then my mother finally got tired because she had had my kids all these years. So my mom finally got tired and I made a promise to my children that whatever happened or how hard it got, that I would never leave them again. And that promise was what, you know, compelled me into wanting to and starting to come off of the drug addiction. Absolutely. And one of the reasons I'm so excited about our conversation today um, is because a lot of times when we think about addiction, we think about drugs and alcohol. But the reality is we all have an addiction. Yes, ma'am. Now, whether it's visible to the public, that's a whole different conversation, but everybody's addicted to something, even if that's addicted to your ego, Yes. Right? yes. Um, so there are things where we need to learn how to overcome those addictions so we can see the better part of our life. Um, and one of the things I love about what you just said, um, and it's a conversation I have with all of my coaching clients, is your why has to be stronger than your desire. Yes. Yes. And when you found that why, which for your case was the promise you made to your children. Yes, ma'am. That why helped you, I I'm guessing, um, yep, but yep. It, it helps you stay committed to that goal because it's not just I want to. It's now I have to because of this. this these people are counting on me accomplishing this goal. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You, you hit it. You hit it right there on the head. Yes, ma'am. And yep, it, it was that promise. 
that really made me focus on finally getting off the drugs. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I made a similar promise. So I miscarried twins in 2016. Um, and my promise to my twins was that I would live a life they would be proud of. Um, oh. And every day for the past, you know, four, four years, even when I don't feel like, you know, doing X, Y, or Z, or I'm tired, or I don't want to, or et cetera, I constantly make an effort to be, show up in the world as the best version of myself because of that promise. Yes, ma'am. Because it's yes, not just about me anymore. Yes, yes. That is awesome. That is awesome. Absolutely. So you've been sober for over 10 years now. What yes. are some of the challenges you faced in remaining sober? <sighs> mm. Some of my challenges um, hurt. Um, in the course of these 10 years, I've dealt with a lot of hurt, pain, uh, rejection, um, not feeling like I was at my full potential, uh, struggle, uh, uh, debt, um, the working too hard and not getting paid enough jobs um, that will eat away at your self-esteem and make you feel that your worth is just not good enough and this is all that you can get. Um, those were some of my biggest challenges, but I just, I just thank God for his strength because I had to pray for that every day for me not to go back and pick up a drink of a, or a drug. Cause I'm like, okay, so I can't do that no more. Mm -hmm. So what can I do? So I had to learn how to develop a, a really powerful prayer relationship mm -hmm. to help me not to go back and pick up that drink or that drug to deal with things when it got hard in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And as we talked about earlier, addiction can show up in a lot of different forms, right? Um, that can look like being addicted to food, being addicted to sex, being addicted to, um, like I say, your ego. Yes, like there are a number of different addictions that, but also addicted to drugs and alcohol, as was your experience. Yes. What are some tangible strategies um, that we can use when we're dealing with our addictions? <sighs> tangible strategies. I would definitely have to say motivating yourself. Mm -hmm. Is one of them because when I was out there, um, I would tell, you know, had these conversations with myself, like, come on, Vicky, like you, you better than this. Why are you out here? You mm -hmm. got these beautiful kids, your mom here to support you. And, and I will also say a support system. And even in my addiction, God sent people to tell me, why, why are you out here? You shouldn't even be out here and mm -hmm. things, you know, things of that nature. You definitely, I would have to say conversations with yourself, having a good su uh, support system and also remembering the person that you are, you know, to help you overcome. Because when we lose ourselves in low self-esteem or not feeling worthy, mm -hmm. then we lose consciousness of, you know, what is life is about, what life is about and what our being is supposed to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. So what would you say is your number one secret to success? Wow. I got to give all that to the almighty God. Yes, ma'am. You know, I hope I'm not being too spiritual, but he is just the head of my life. And if it was not for God, I, I wouldn't be here. And, you know, God knows us so well. And, you know, if I could be transparent That's as possible, possible. um, Girl, I love me some men back in the day. I love me some men, okay? So what God did was he sent a young man to minister to me while I was out there. That, that um, eventually this young man took me to church. Mm. So it was God that led the whole way up yeah. to the success that I am now. Yes. Mm -hmm. love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and don't feel like you have to not be spiritual. We talk about Jesus on the oh, drink, drink thank you. Podcast, thank, okay? you <laughs> thank you so much, Tiara, because I love the Lord and yes. I love talking about him, especially when it pertains to my life, because if it wasn't for him and the love he had, his grace and mercy, I just would not be here today. Absolutely. Because he could have very well let me die out there the night I got shot, but he didn't. 
Absolutely. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for sharing. Uh, so what final thoughts do you have for us as an audience? My final thoughts is we know God can do anything and nothing is impossible without him, but you have to be willing. We have to be willing participants for that change to start. You have to really, really be willing and you have to have an awesome support system around you that can give you the good love and the tough love mm-hmm. to get mm-hmm. you through it. So that would be my final thoughts. Absolutely. This has been a great conversation. Um, where can people find you if they want to connect with you? Um, I know you have some awesome t-shirts, so where can we find those? Um, yes. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Victoria Blunt. Um, my uh, Heavenly Hands is on Facebook page. You can look that up. I am on Instagram at vicky 2 victoria And I'm also on YouTube at Heavenly Hands Outreach Ministries. I have four entities where you guys can reach out to me if you need to. Awesome. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on the Chasing Dreams podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. (laughs) Bye, guys.